Russian ambassador to Malaysia Valery N. Yermolov says Moscow no longer owns BUK missiles since 2011, the year when the warhead was decommissioned. This missile was developed in 1986 and uh, uh, the Soviet uh, Union army was uh, equipped with these missiles. After the uh, uh, crash of the Soviet Union, uh, when uh, Ukraine and other uh, former republics declared their independent, uh, independency, they uh, possessed these missiles. But in uh, the guarantee period, or it, they are best before, uh, along the 25 years. And in uh, 2011, these missiles uh, were discommissioned uh, in Russian army, in the Russian ar army. But we know exactly that Ukrainian army possesses uh, 520 uh, missiles at this time. He claims many other former Soviet Union countries, including some members of the NATO alliance such as Greece, are armed with similar BUK missiles. Yermolov says missiles owned by the Russian army no longer contain the shrapnel in the shape of butterflies that were found on the fuselage of MH17. This type of missile, uh, 9M38, uh, is filled with cube uh, and cubic and uh, parallelepiped uh, fragments, shrapnel, yeah? not, not, not butterfly. They, Almas and they, uh, conducted two experiments. One with missile 9, M38, and another one with modernized, uh, modified missile, which, has, uh, uh, which is uh, now uh, uh, in uh, response uh, or in, in use in uh, Russian, uh, by, by Russian army. The second uh, experiment, and when they blasted the, sec and, uh, the second type of missile, the uh, holes of the fuselage had various shapes, including butterfly. But uh, Dutch safety board fa found out that uh, the missile which, which had hit the uh, aircraft was uh, old type. They, of course, they uh, explained that uh, the warhead of this missile was modernized, uh, modified, but the specialist experts of Mass and Day, who is producer, they claim it's impossible, it's technically impossible to uh, connect and to fit war, warhead and uh, all type of missile. He says the report on the crash by the experts from Almaz Ante, the main developer of BUK missile launches, was ignored by the Dutch safety board experts. Almaz Ante is the Russian air defence system manufacturer that built the missile by which the report suggests the aircraft was destroyed. On Tuesday, Dutch safety board or DSP concluded that a Russian-made BUK missile shot down Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 last year, killing 298 people on board. At a recent press conference in Moscow, Russia's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova says the DSP results demonstrate a hidden agenda against Russia. Насколько значима работа, проведенная компанией, а также, я имею в виду, Алмаз-Санте, а также специалистами Росавиации, которые неоднократно представляли свои критические комментарии в группу по расследованию, свидетельствует заявление представителей концерна и Росавиации. У нас остаются серьезные сомнения в том, что подлинной целью проводимого в Нидерландах расследования является установление истинных причин авиакатастрофы, а не обоснование заранее выдвинутых обвинений. Russia's Federal Air Transport Agency deputy head, Oleg Storchevoy, supports the conclusion that Ukraine would take full responsibility for not closing territorial airspace above its war zone to commercial flights. Both agency and ministry conclude the report did not show any opinions from the Russian side. In the pro-Russian rebel-held city of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine, self-proclaimed Donetsk People Republic Defense spokesperson Edward Basurin accused the Ukrainian military of shooting the passenger plane down. Любой здравомыслящий человек, изучив все официальные свидетельства, включая и представленные нами карты, не может не прийти к выводу, что если Boeing 777 и был сбит с земли, 
то это могло быть только с территории, контролируемой в это время украинской армией, села Зарощинская. И из оружия до сих пор имеющиеся на вооружении украинской армии. Although the Dutch report did not assign blame, it is almost certain to further strain diplomatic ties between the Netherlands and its allies and Russia. After the crash, many experts and Western governments said they believe the rebels had fired on the Malaysia Airlines plane, mistakenly believing it was Ukrainian military transporter.